Hey y'all, it's Cammy J Official. Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring ting tingling too. Don't you know that it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you? To all my subscribers, listen, y'all are the MVPs. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and supporting my content. To anyone that is new, welcome. And if you happen to find yourself watching another video of mine, I do hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel, but let's get right to the video. Hey y'all, so I'm going to be doing a review and a demo on the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I've been wanting this concealer for like such a long time and I was finally able to go ahead and get my hands on it. This concealer originally retails for $30 and I got it in the color Medium 4, which is for medium to deeply tan skin with golden undertones. And your girl definitely has golden undertones, but listen, I did not pay $30 for this. This was on sale for $11.99 on the Sephora app so I went ahead and picked it on up so just wanted to show you guys the applicator it doesn't have like the typical concealer applicator it's really big and round so I just wanted to see like how well this was going to work so I'm basically just gonna go ahead and begin to apply it underneath the eyes I can say that this definitely was like a really nice true golden color it's looking really good against um, my complexion so I really did like that and the consistency of this concealer I would say is definitely more watery so I went ahead and sprayed my beauty blender and just began to blend that in and as you can see this concealer was like really easy to blend in y'all like look at that like it just begins to like melt into the skin and it blends in so perfectly this is not a concealer that you have to fight with if you do get it it's definitely going to go ahead and just blend right into the skin so i really like this so i'm going to do the other side and ooh, y'all look at look at the bags underneath my eyes i think i need to get some sleep and start taking my allergy medicine but yeah, so this worked out like really good and it really is super blendable and it has a beautiful finish as well. This concealer is actually described as a medium to buildable concealer and it definitely does have like that coverage that I like when it comes to concealer. I had on red color corrector and it definitely was able to like hide that red color corrector because y'all if you look at my face like you can see no red there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight my face or the rest of my face with the concealer. I'm gonna dot it in the areas where I want it and then you're just gonna see me like struggle to draw a straight line down my nose. I don't know why every time I do concealer like the nose is always the hardest part because I cannot draw a straight line. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in with my beauty blender as well. And as you can see, once again, it just really melts into the skin, which is what you really want from like a concealer. And even though this is a little bit pricey, if you can get it on sale, I think this would be a really nice concealer for anyone who wants like that natural kind of skin like look. And it does have the coverage, like the coverage is definitely there for it being, you know, so watery. So I'm just going to continue to blend. I really don't have to work like really hard to blend in this concealer and I love that about it. Some concealers that I've used in the past like you have to blend like your life depends on it because it is just so hard to blend them in but this blend in so smoothly and y'all just look at that. So again I'm just showing you it covered that red color corrector you cannot see any of that there and it looks real nice and smooth my skin looks very nice fresh and hydrated so now i'm going to be using my setting powder i'm going to be using my laura mercier setting powder in the color honey and if y'all have seen my videos before you know how i like to do my setting powder i just like to take a little bit on this kind of angle brush and just begin to press it into any of the areas where i have put the concealer and if you notice i'm just tapping off as much as the excess as possible and just beginning to like just gently pressing it into the concealer so that way it blends in i would say for the way that i like the makeup to come out i do prefer this technique of using setting powder better but you are more than welcome to bake with it i'm pretty sure that with this type of high-end concealer you'd be able to bake with it as well and i'm just taking the rest of the powder that may be there and just bringing it around my smile lines and just basically using it to set anywhere that i initially put the concealer on the forehead and you know down the bridge of my nose 
and y'all can see me just you know struggle yet again to do something in a straight line so now I'm just gonna go ahead after letting that sit for like a couple seconds I went ahead and wiped it off of my face and this is kind of how we're looking like now with just setting it with the setting powder and I really like it even without having to like spray it down with setting spray but y'all so this is the final look using this concealer I have to say I really like it like this is probably going to become like one of my instant faves when it comes to concealer only because it's so easy to work with it blends well it has like a really nice consistency and it has the coverage now I will not recommend that you get this at full price because because $30 is a lot to pay for like a concealer, especially a concealer like that's this kind of small. But if you can catch it on sale, y'all, go ahead and catch it on sale. They do have a nice variety of colors and you can get this at Sephora and Ulta. But if you like this video, guys, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and click on the notification bell so that way you know when I post more videos. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.